hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is lynn in case you're new you're most definitely welcome so today i'm coming back to you with a new makeup tutorial and also before you forget if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel come on click the subscription button and also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i really appreciate so as you can see i've already done my eyebrows and now I'm prepping my eyes for the eyeshadow. So first you want to use your concealer or your eye primer. And in this case I'm using my um, concealer and after blending in the concealer you come in with the powder to set it. And now I'm using Huda eyeshadow palette here. This palette is popping. The colors are amazing. The pigmentation is top notch. You have to try it, guys. So now, after placing the eyeshadow uh, that I wanted as a base, I'm coming in with my concealer, my pro concealer. I think it's in the shade Fawn, but I'll link every product that I'm going to use as usual in my description box. And now I'm making a cut crease using my concealer. And what basically a cut crease means is that it's a technique used to define a crease by cutting across it with a, I think a contrasting eyeshadow color and then you blend a little. And what I know about a cut crease is, is that it can change your makeup game by the way. In, uh, especially if you have a medium to heavy fold on your eyes what we call in other words hooded eyes and it lifts your eyes and makes them appear more open basically yeah so now I'm getting in with my yellow goldish color and you want to place it where you've placed your concealer like I'm doing do not go outside the the crease the cut crease yeah if you know what I mean. So now I'm coming in with my eyeliner and I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyeliner gel and what you do with your eyeliner is that you draw the, the line as close as possible to your to, to your real lashes and you don't want any space left between in between the the lid and the eyelashes yes and now I went off camera through some lashes and this is because I don't want this video or I do want this video to be so long if you want to see how I put on my eyelashes I'm going to leave the link to that video in my description box and now I'm Highlighting my eyebrow bone using the Huda palette. Yes. Nothing on our loving. Maybe time told us that we were different. Did it break? It's time to prime that face because you don't want to just come in with your makeup, with your foundations before priming your skin and now I'm using my orange color cor corrector <laughs> and I'm placing that uh, on the places I feel like I have blemishes and using my beauty blender I'm going to, con to blend that Up 
during this makeup I decided to go in with my concealer before foundation so that I could see how it would turn out and honestly I loved it um, I cannot complain I don't know why I did this but hey makeup it's all about experimenting new things you don't have to keep doing what everyone else is doing so I decided why not use concealer before foundation this time round and that is what I'm blending right now so for the foundation I'll be using my Revlon photo ready effect foundation in the shade cappuccino and next after applying you have to blend obviously And now using my slick powder, I'm going to set everything and it's in the shade medium. Looking past my reflection, thinking about what you mentioned. It was supposed to be the one to take every away. It's my favorite time, lipstick time, and I'm using a huda and another company i cannot remember but i'll link everything again in my description box and i wanted to go for a ombre look i used a purple lipstick and um a nude lipstick and the outcome was mwah. To set everything, I uh, used my NYX or NYX setting spray and it has a matte finish and I really love that about it because you remain like matte the whole day, like trust you me. If I can remain matte the whole day because of that setting spray, you too can. For the highlight, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter and I'm highlighting all the places I want. That is on on, on my cupid ball, on the jaws, is it the jaws, sorry, the cheekbones. And that is my final look, guys. I hope you loved the tutorial. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not. And until next time. Bye.